Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 26, using manipulatives to reduce fractions and adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So remember from a previous lesson, the manipulatives were the little fraction pieces that you could you either made in school or you can make at home. Okay. So you can see here that I've got all these different fractions, 4 eighths, 3 sixths, 2 fourths, and 1 half. But if you notice, each one illustrates exactly half of a circle. Okay. This tells us that we can reduce any of these fractions down to one half, and that all of these fractions are equal to each other. So this problem says, reduce your, use your fraction manipulatives to reduce the fraction 2 sixths. So I'm going to show you what 2 sixths look like here. It's two pieces out of all six. Now if you notice, if I continue to break this up by in two piece sections, you'll notice that I have three sections. One, two, one pink, one green, and one orange. So that means that I can reduce two sixths into one third, because it's one section out of three. This one asks two thirds of a circle is what percent of a circle? So here I have my two third pieces, which I also know are 33 and one third percent. And to find out how, what percent this is going to be, I'm going to add 33 and one third percent plus 33 and one third percent. Okay, so one third plus one third is two thirds. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six. So the answer is 66 and two thirds percent. Two sixths of a circle is what percent? Again, I'm going to take the percent, so 16 and 2 thirds plus 16 and 2 thirds, and add them together. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds. 6 plus 6 is 12, carry my 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Now, we don't really like improper fractions. So I know that 4 thirds is the same as 1 and 1 third. So I can take 32 and add 1 and 1 third to it to get 33 and 1 third percent. Which if you notice from the last problem is how much 1 third equals. Alright, so this next problem says Rory lives 2 and 3 fourths miles from school. He rode his bike home to school and back, from home to school and back to home. How far did he ride? So I'm going to add up these two problems, the, the two numbers. So I have 2 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 3 fourths. Okay. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 6 fourths. 2 plus 2 is 4. Again, I don't like the improper fraction. So 6 fourths. Remember, this line means divide. So I can take 6 and divide it by 4. 4 goes into 6 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. Subtract, and I have a remainder. But we can turn that remainder into a fraction. So it would be 1 and 2 fourths, which we know is the same as 1 and 1 half. So to find the total number of miles, I'm going to take the four miles that he drove, or he rode, and add it to the one and one half. So he rode a total of five and one half miles each day as he goes to and from school. Okay. And this next part is on subtracting. So I have five and three eighths minus one and one eighth. So we're going to subtract the fraction first. 3 minus 1 is 2, so 2 eighths, and 5 minus 1 is 4. 
So I have 4 and 2 eighths. Now 2 eighths can be reduced down to 1 fourth. So we have 4 and 1 fourth was my final answer. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.